Well, you pro they'll probably want some explanation of what all the axes are, won't they? Okay, right, so here we are, once again. You can see Mac 3 on Solston Steve's computer in the background. And let's have a look at what he's done here. You can see the original rotary table. Perhaps you'll start with that. Uh, well, the original rotary table, it's actually um, a Vertex H36, which I've had a stepper motor drive on. Um, I've kept the uh, engagement and disengagement of the worm wheel by effectively sliding and pivoting the, the whole stepper motor arrangement out this way and belt driving it. So that gives me a fairly compact footprint without stepper motors sticking out and hitting you in the belly and allows me to have the original um, vernier and everything else out on and I made up a, a flip out handle which you can manually wind it round as well so it's either manual or CNC or both. Uh, on there I wanted a tilt table for one particular job so um, fabricated up a tilt arrangement for it fairly crude just a hinge. I always dowel my um, or key my um, equipment to the to the T-slots in the in the bed. It makes for very very easy setting up and accurate setting up. So everything is is keyed with um, with either dowels or um, blocks to match with the tool with the um, T-slots. Hmm. Good. Now what have we put on top now? Well, this is something that's in the process of being fabricated at the moment. Um, I was beginning to build too many machines all over the place. Um, my last one that I was building was a lathe, CNC lathe, and it uh, occurred to me that I could actually gut most of that that I'd already built, get myself some workshop space back and um, another another Mac 3 system back and put it onto the Asiera. So um, I started doing that. That was so successful that I thought, well, What's the next thing I could put onto it? And um, having a requirement for a tool and cutter grinder um, to sharpen up some of my very blunt tools, I thought, well, it would be rather fun to uh, see if I could do something like that. So this arrangement here is a uh, prototype tool and cutter grinder. What I've done is uh, taken a, an engraving spindle which I made up here, which is a high-speed engraving spindle, which normally would be bolted on top here and have the engraving cutter spinning like that. Uh, added a grinding wheel, a diamond grinding wheel, and rotated the whole thing through 90 degrees and allowed it to swivel so I can set the angle of the, um, of the grinding wheel there. That gives me the grinding spindle. Mm -hmm. I then thought, right, well if I, if I want to sharpen a cutter, I might want to, for example, make my own special ball end cutters. I would then need to be able to know where the dead centre of, of the cutter is in all planes. Yep. Hello? Steve? 